Anything that Namiga can throw out at you. Okay, and yeah, I, I was yeah. just about to say the Terrorblade. We've seen matchups before in the DPC and the D2CL where the Luna, as good as Watson is on the Luna, um, too. So he has that swarm available. Limitless has the charge now as well. So the swarm's gonna be dropped. The charge comes in. Do they get another bash coming through? They're gonna be able to get the first right click bash and the first blood. Gilga picks it up. Couldn't get that really good time here now as well. Can throw the harass out. There is gonna be a spear to the tree though from the tree. Protect the Maladie. Is he gonna be fine? Shadow Realm gonna be used. It's gonna be the body blocks from Chosen One. Is there gonna be a Lucent Beam maybe dropped? He gets a kill first. And Maladie trying to get himself away. He's got himself the salve. And that's he might even be the double kill. Watson. A tough one for them to actually find anything around the map. Weaver hard to kill, hard to catch. The uh, Abad the uh, Triant oh. as well. And now Aincrad, he goes a bit more aggressive and gonna pay for it. Yeah, he got caught out there. The Limitless comes in with the Nether Strike now into Heaven as well. They're gonna be able to get the catch with the Scream. They're gonna be able to get the kill. They do take down the Weaver on the back lines here. Aincrad gets it with, I assume, the Pulse. Uh, Namiga, I, I don't think doing either is gonna be easy. Top lane. Yeah, they get the kill on the Vance Core, the charge came through, so once again, he couldn't lose some beam coming through. Is there going to be another charge? It looks like they want to be going on to Kiritich. Kiritich, level 8, so he does have that point into the Sunder. If they go, do they have the lockdown? Do they have the burst to take him down? They absolutely do. Even that split earth not going to be enough. So there's going to be the TPM from Mars into this mid lane. Limitless trying to get himself away with the Curse Crown coming through the Shadow Realm. They will have enough damage to take down the Space Cow. But that tier 1 tower goes down now as well. The Bedlam comes out. They've got the lockdown onto the Queen of Pain for a little bit, but the Blink still going to be there in time to save his life. And Watson not even throwing out the Eclipse. Hard to control this Luna. Kiritich again in trouble. Yeah, they have the vision, and Limitless is just going to come right clicking him down. And Kiritich, well, where's the rest of the back of Gilgit? going to be here. Tier 2 Reflection does get used, but Gilgit, does he want to be coming in with a swarm? Luna to back up now as well. Mars, is that arena back up? It is. It's going to be onto Gilgit. Gilgit has the time lapse if he needs to use it. You saw him mid animation, but he doesn't want to pop it just yet because he's got. He's going to be speared out too. A tree and he's not gonna be able to use that time lapse waited a little bit too long gets caught out and killed off but easy kills like they give up the, the last four so they just disengage watching watson is still showing the spear comes out they're gonna be able to maybe get the time yeah they're gonna be going through the arena comes through but it's sonic wave it absolutely deletes the life the, of the the dark willow they get the kill into the luno how far can they go they're gonna be able to lock down rebel on the first life back lines heaven will go down to gilga now he's gonna be able to get the blink away it looks like they're gonna be able to get that lockdown maldi tries to come in to do what he can with the overgrowth but they've still got the two cores out Maladie trying to get the TP. I think the damage isn't going to be there. No, he gets that TP away. The sentry here for the side of Namiga. Gilg is a little bit too far forward. The Yule Scepter comes out. Where's that catch? Where's that split earth? Terrorized brambles are going to be dropped, but it's only going to be on for the Weaver. The Weaver has to walk through the brambles. Backline charge comes through from Limitless onto the Vansko. They might be able to get the kill. Yeah, the Borrow Time was already used. Now oh, Ancrad's going to be the Eclipse gets dropped. The Overgrowth gets used now as well. Sonic Wave. The Sun is trying to keep Ancrad alive, but is it going to be enough? It looks like the right clicks here coming through from Watson will be enough to secure that kill. And once again, around a kill or two before they even go into this pit heaven as you've been seeing they might be able to go the blink the silence comes out instantly deleted the rebel does have that shard so the silence there was no chance for that shadow realm they get the pick onto heaven and Hellraisers make a beeline towards the pit. There is going to be a fight breaking out. There's going to be the split center as well as the arena. They catch out the Queen of Pain. Do they have the damage to take the Queen of Pain down? Rebel going to be able to blink himself away from this. He even pops the essence ring. So he's even going to be able to get some life back. Sonic Wave commits onto the Sonic rest Wave. of the team of Namiga. Namiga, do they want to try and disengage? Maladie's going to be killed off here. Limitless. He pushes Iron Crowd up. He's going to be able to cliff tease him here. So, Lucent Beam, as well as the Eclipse, going to be used as a little bit of a disengage tool. Or to say, you know, stand your ground. Rebel. Trying to do the damage onto Aincrad, but Aincrad's already TP'd himself back. Moving towards Chosen One, there's going to be a really nice shield onto him, but Rebel still gets the kill. Gilga has already used that Swarm, has that time match available if he gets into too much danger. It's going to be four versus five now. These Lucent Beams, the, the Glaives bounce around doing so much damage. Aincrad, the Infocious Shield will be popped. Aincrad, is he going to be able to get himself out? Limitless just tries to run himself away because that Pulse Nova doing a whole lot of damage. And they pick up another kill onto Heaven. It looks like Aincrad's going to be another Sacrificial Lamb now as well as the rest of the team. Tries to escape. The Split Earth comes out, so he's doing damage to Rebel. Rebel, though, still going to be able to claim the kill with Watson. And it looks like they want to be chasing for more. Vance got the Borrowed Time. Ten seconds away. A Fortic Shield. Kilgood's going to be able to get it with the Sukuchi. 
the right clicks. Gilga claims that kill. And you poke, you go out, you poke, you go out. And now when he has a butterfly, now he can actually go super hard in. But Aincrad, this is not something that he can afford to do. Yeah, Limitless gets the kill though with Watson because he just gets an instant charge into the Nether Strike. And Aincrad was absolutely alone here. They even get the kill onto. I, I think this is just going to be. Can't go for Megas because there is still oh, the spear comes out. There's still the team the bottom lane. Can they do the damage to get Limitless? Though? Limitless not going to be able to use the the. Shadow Blade to get himself out, and it looks like Hellraiser is just going to be on the retreat. They did a lot of damage to these racks. Unkillable with over 3k health, level 23. He just steps up, chose one, comes in with the spear. So the, the career, it takes a little bit longer to get the delivery out, but that is going to be the satanic there for the Luna once he's uh, made the the mask. But do they have the damage? Luna's going to try and get himself away. The Nihilism comes out from Aincrad, and Watson's still running. That's going to be the Aegis now, so he should be able to what a charge. the Satanic. The charge comes through. Sonic Wave, Gilgur as well. Rabel gets himself the double kill. They're going to be able to get a really good Eclipse, and this just looks like it's going to be game number one, going the way of Hellraisers. That's going to be the third and final tier three. The charge comes through. Jumping onto Chosen One and Rabel. Well, the re is going to be there, but I don't think Queen of Pain is going to be too that bothered. He dodges out the spear now as well. It might give up his life, but Watson's just going to say, as soon as this wall drops, we're going to be coming in. The charge comes through now as well. They're going to be able to go into Chosen One. Chosen One trying to get himself away. Back into the fountain, but the damage is going to be the Watson just absolutely cleaning up. Sunder, but Limitless probably won't even go down here. All five heroes just saying, this is our base now. You're the ones that have to leave as they send them back to the grave. And GG, well played, is called here for Namiga. Hellraisers take game number one. The Terrorblade just wanted to get beat up there a bit more. He didn't have enough, so uh, he used the Sunder. Those are kind of heroes that are not being played right now, just because they're uh, they're not as powerful. But I think the Mika should go something like that. They do uh, go back to the LC, so their idea here is we're gonna. We're going to crush the laning stage this one. And again, going to be interesting because Chosen One has to come in for the last hits. Going to be taking a lot of harass damage. Watson going in with a Shadow Strike, another Starbreaker. They might even know the Fade Ball. It might be enough to get... No! Malady does pick it up. Someone else could come through from LC. Um, but you can just see Malady. He's not even bothered about trying to go for any... Uh, protection, any pulls, anything like this. He's going to be able to get another Celestial Hammer out. Starbreaker comes through. The Purge is going to be enough, and Heaven is trying to heal himself up with the Verify now, but Watson blinks himself in the right clicks. The Fade Bolt does get dropped, and one more right click, even with that damage reduction, will still be able to secure the kill. But Chosen One, it's his turn to chase now. Watson, he's got that blink in two seconds. Is he going to be enough? The Celestial Hammer comes off with the slow. He's going to be able to get the blink towards the tier one, and Malady, this lane. Okay. Yeah, he's even got the Sentry down straight into this mid lane. lane. Oh, Kiritich. If they get the kill into Limitless, Gilgir looks like he's going to be able to get it go away. Heaven, he's just going to leave Chosen One. It looks like they're just going to try and try Limitless. Telekinesis comes through. Gilgir trying to get himself out with the Scoochie, but do they have the angle here for the tiebreak of the torrent in the trees? Wrong part of the trees. Oh, there's going to be a wraparound once again. Oh, Celestial Hammer gets dropped, and Malady picks up the kill onto Chosen One. And Five years right now, so definitely very experienced, and he knows how to play when uh, when he's shut down. So at least they're finding ways to uh, to fight even against the odds. But to speaking against the odds, there's a big fight in the mid lane. Yeah, even the tomato gonna run into this. He get on to kill onto Gilga. Watson's gonna rotate Nathan in. Sonic Wave comes out onto the puck, blows him up. Vansko, the trap gets used here. It's a rebel, but he fought to chill with the purge. I think he'll be able to chase him down here. Looks like Vansko's gonna be able to get himself away. He's gonna go for the TP for the top lane though. He's trying to make a dive. Kiritich as well as Vansko. I think he'll be able to get himself away from this. Solar Guardian does get used. Kiritich tries to get himself out. Faulty Shield will be used. Torrent lifting up onto Limitless, but he's already used the raw. And now there is going to be a really nice Starbreaker to get two of them. Puck is in. Comes out. It's Puck rotates in. But where's Watson? Does he want to go for the kills? Are they going to be able to take the dual damage? It looks like they do. Limitless can be taken down by Aincrad. And now they clean up. Malady will go down. Watson going to be left here, though. Can they take down Chosen One? Watson, he's already used the Sonic Wave, like you say. Trying to hunt that Puck in the lane. Comes out with a scream, the blink away now as well. Gilga still sticking around, but it looks like Chosen One will be spurred while he has a TP to help his team. Yeah, the Tyrone um, comes through. There is going to be the bow, the X Max spot. Maori is going to be able to get himself away from this. He gets one right click away from Death. The Tauren and Kiritich will secure it, but what is going on? They're going to away, so Aincrad's going to be in trouble. They get the Borrowed Time coming through. Are they going to be able to get the kill of the lockdown onto Aincrad? It will be enough. Limitless picks that one up. And now the chase onto Bansko, the TP in from Kiritich. But Kiritich isn't the healthiest hero in the world either. And it's not going to be. Uh, an over engagement here. Gilgis not got the mana. Now he has the mana for the time lapse. He's going to be able to get himself away. Even gets a D ward in from that. The Sukuchi has been stolen. The X mark on the Kunker. They have a rough idea where he is. But Vansko is going to be the one that co gets caught out. Immediately the pop on the borrowed time. Two right clicks from Rabel and he was able to get it off. A Forty Shield comes out and a Forty Shield goes away. 
as Rebel, really nice solo kill there. On to lane though, it's gonna be the dive onto the LC. Is that the charge for the Queen of Pain? It is. So the Silence, the Axis fly through, swarm onto Chosen One. Chosen One trying to get himself out, but there's gonna be another blink. I think he's gonna be able to do enough damage here. They will be able to claim the kill onto Chosen One, and the chase is on Heaven. Looks like he's next on the menu. Watson, what's he stolen? He's got that blink, but there was already Gilgo waiting with the Yule Scepter. Do they have enough to lock him down? The roar comes out, so he's not going to be able to blink himself away. I'm not... So, uh, oh, actually, uh, there is a pick pole on Amiga, so, you know, they, they have the uh, the option to turn into those. Either way, Hellraisers are applying the pressure on Amiga. There's one thing that's left with him. They have to go for a team fight, but... Oh, uh, Rainbow, they will take some damage. Yeah, he's going to take a lot of damage. Has that BKB, but there's going to be Oh, did the damage with the Solar Guardian coming through now as well. That duel won't be completed. The roar once again comes through. Keritage being pushed back by the Sonic Wave. He looks at the right on top of the Salty Sailor. And Chosen One TPs in. What's he going to be able to do? He's brought back into this. It's going to be a straight die back. Going back into the fight. So yeah, Chosen One. Is he going to survive? Ah, to let him go because he focused down onto Aincrad first. Chosen One is actually going to get out alive. Miracles do happen. Did he have a reveal? Did he have a gem? Did he have anything like this? As the blink comes out from Chosen One, up to the higher ground, the swarm comes through. Doesn't actually connect. Chosen One just moves away from his lines. Back up onto the higher ground, though. They find out Vance Code. They're going to be able to get the kill into heaven as well. Both supports are gone. What's well, a little bit of momentum here. As Rebel moving through, the x Marks spot comes out, Torrent going to be off the mark. Rebel moving through to the tier 3. Keratich going to be the raw comes out now. Solar Guardian is going to be used. He has to use his BKB to get back. What was stolen? Could it be the Solar Guardian being taken away? Yeah, the dive down gets out. Watson to the back lines. Not use that BKB just yet. Marty the Telekinesis comes out into the Dawnbreaker. But he looks at, look at this. The group up. Sonic Wave comes through. They immediately delete the Rubik in the middle of his own stolen, gu stolen Guardian. Let's call it as back lines. Marty's going to get pretty down low. The duel comes out. I think he dueled the wrong target there. And Kiritich gets the blow up from Limitless and Marty with that Tyringer. But there's still three heroes. The buyback comes through from the other two. Rebel's trying to survive with the fights. But still has that Aegis. And Kiritich, here, Fotter Shield does get popped. Torrent's going to come through. But Kiritich, can he survive through this now as Watson dives yeah, to the back titanic. lines? He's got this Titanic coming through here for Kiritich. He's trying to do what he can to Watson. Watson's going to be silenced up. He's going to be able to Rabel get himself away from this as the dive comes through from Marty once again. And Rabel back with a vengeance here to Byrax and everybody on the side of Namiga. This is do or die for them. Watson's trying to keep himself alive. Into the next round, into the top three. And unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Namiga. Wait, wait, they're not out just yet. They're gonna give it one last push. The duel comes in, but Queen of Pain here with the Ghost Scepter, so the duel damage won't be secured. Sonic Wave blows up the LC. And yeah, this is just gonna be a victory parade here for the side of Hellraisers. They get three. Can they make it four and five? As Puck, Yule Scepter comes out. The lockdown, one more right click. The silence comes out, and GG will be called. Aincrad definitely wanted to stay alive.